Have to be honest, I don't speak bark, amigo. Well, you're always hungry, aren't you? Maybe you'll like me if I bring you something tasty, hmm? Hey, is the newest... I need your help to find the lieutenant. Our soldier friend said he saw Napoleon El Pequeño's private island. So you and me are going to take a boat from a dock in Siniestra to Cayo Villa Real. We take out this Singao and Jose's whole operation crumbles. But keep this between you and me, okay? Papa's got enough stress to deal with right now. See you at the boat. Don't wreck this one, okay? Danny! There's someone I want you to meet. Her name is Yami. Think of her as the Juan Cortez of cars. I can't handle two of you. You can't handle one of me. <laughs> ah, fuck you, it's a shitty joke. Just look Yami up. We are taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. You want to complain? You can swim. Nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once, south of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, it's the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. Not me, just Papa. <laughs> sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. It was supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See, si. that's how we got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. So Carlos doesn't have a plan? His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling, ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon el Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit, but if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things, be agile, stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. You smoking Mexican? Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come and meet us. Shit. ¿Qué pasa? Jose fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. 
What's he doing? He's, uh, he's with the lieutenant we were looking for. Looks more like a scientist. Let's take Jose out. No. No. You might hit the lieutenant. What's going on? Fuck. Hey, over there. I need to know where that scientist is going. Let's search his. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad can help. Medic. Congratulations, Drew Estavianas. You have made it to Jose Castillo's exclusive inner circle. I hope you realize how special that is. I am very, very selective. Here on my island, you are free. Free from the constraints of your responsibilities. Free from your duties and the mundane. Here, you can embrace your inner animal and satisfy your primal. This, my true friends, is my gift to you for your undying loyalty. Engineer you are spotted. here because you are the truest and most loyal Arianas. Only a select few are allowed in this special place. Here, you will be treated like gods. There are no rules because you have proven yourself to be free of them. Come for the views, my true Arianas, and stay for the sex and violence. Congratulations, True Arras. Only a select few are awarded the privilege of experiencing my island. You are here because you have gone above and beyond the... He says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island. Gifts of gratitude are welcome. Especially golden, the scouts of the Yeah. 
think Jose's got a computer around here? Oh, I see you. Bad dog. Find out what that was. Get down! We got bodies here! Forty for day! Go! Entendido! Somewhere there! Ahí! Okay. Still have to find intel on where that scientist went. No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. El Pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojone. Can you let me in? Done. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny.
Por Thank favor. you. I need your help. I can never repay Libertad. Help. You got it. Dios mío. Thank you. I thought I would never see my children again. <clears throat> Jose is a psychopath. I shouldn't have gone out today. Espada. Jose was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Refmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then are you going to tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. So why do you want this guy so bad anyway? El come mierda checks all the tobacco leaves for the vivido process. We fuck up the leaves, we fuck up the cancer drugs, we fuck up Napoleon e Pequeño's operation, make him look bad in front of old Uncle Anton. A lot of heat. So how you wanna do this? We kill soldiers until we find him. And then? And then we kill more soldiers. Simple. I like it. Can't hide from me. Should kill the alarm. Okay.
Get away from me! Ah, fuck me, mierda! Mierda is right. You look like shit, hermanito. Hermanito? We've been hunting your brother this whole time? Who the hell are you? Why didn't you just tell me? Alejandro, come on. We're going home. Vete pal carajo. Suéltame. Cojones. ¿Qué es lo que te pasa? What the fuck, Ale? I'm not going anywhere. I told you before, and I am telling you now. I believe in Castillo. I believe in Divido and Jose. He's seen the vision through. Napoleon el Pequeño is a slave driver. He's fucking loco. <laughs> Says the person trying to kidnap me. You change your name. You change your uniform, but you are still a Montero. And Papa still got a machete up his ass. And you are running to the jungle like you did when you were five. Except now you kill people and you call yourself, what is it, the spike? The sword. Wow, clever. What? You are going to stab me now? Papa is sick. I don't care. Papa gave up on me a long time ago and you know it. Family's a bitch, no? That's what I hear. We should split up. Not a word about this to Papa. Hola. You good? Si. Sí. I never thanked you for helping me track down Ali. I wasn't exactly honest with you. All good. Just glad I know the real story now. I was worried you wouldn't help if you knew my brother was military. He's... a traitor. Si. Sí. But he's still family. Come back to camp soon. We got more work to do. Oye, guerrilla. Venga pa' acá! What's the deal? if their birds are any good. Okay, mijita, here's the deal. I'm the cockfight champion around here, okay? Me and Gordito, we were gonna retire undefeated. Except this one hijo de puta, Ramon. He came up in here and rigged our final match with his juiced up bird, Singao. I had to give him Gordito's special spurs when he won. And now my little compai is traumatized. He don't eat right. Feathers got no gloss. Won't even let me do his nail treatments. You gotta get those spurs back for him, okay? Please, mommy. Please. Yes! Mommy, you badass! Come find me when you got those spurs. Can you smell it? That is the smell of the most exciting shit you've ever seen! Lost tourist? Listen, Carlos, I know you don't trust me or Clara or Libertad. Or all the other little come mierda she sent. And I don't blame you. We got no history here. You got that right. What else you know? I know that Napoleon El Pequeño stole your land. I know that the poison he sprays on your fields is killing your people. I know that you're sick. And you would rather die than ask for help. Don't throw anything away that you can use. 
the depot where they store the poison. Burn it to the ground. The dusters, they spray the tobacco. Rip them apart. The fumigators in the fields, kill them all. You got it, Jefe. Send me a postcard. I've messed with poison before, but that's real thoughtful of him. I wouldn't go that far. Papa doesn't trust outsiders, but I've seen what you can do. Check the photo. And show him you know what the fuck you are doing. Carlos, it's Danny. Danny from Libertad. I know. You think I forgot or something? No, I just didn't know if... Forget it. I'm coming up on some of Castillo's poison. Look for yellow containers. Crop dusters and fumigators got the poison too. Okay, I'm on it. Okay, careful, Danny. Medics on duty. Hola, dog. Adios, reinforcement. Got a body here. Shit, a fumigator. Isn't anyone else with that shit anymore?
Repinga. Why does no one just fucking text? What is this, the 90s? <sighs> More poison destroyed. And one step closer to earning that old man's trust.
No sabemos por qué estamos lidiando. Yo sabía que alguien iba a venir. Qué pinga. I got word that Jose's pissed about his poison. You fucked up his operation good. Maybe I was wrong about you. Maybe. So now I'm going to ask you for a favor. Our people are rotting in Jose's prisons. One of them, Miguel, is like a son to me. We'll need a prison truck to bust them out. Steal one, then meet me at the gas station near the prison. We drive in, grab our people, and leave before anyone gets smart. I'm trusting you with this tourist. Don't fuck it up. Don't take too long with that prison truck. Got the truck. Good. Come get me at the gas station. On my way. Whoa, master of disguise over here. Shut up and get in the back. Okay. were you inside? Eight months, maybe more. Eighteen hour days in the fields getting whipped and breathing in poison fucks with the memory. Sounds like hell. See, si, but I had Miguel. We kept each other straight. You said he was like a son to you. Toughest motherfucker I know. Raised him like he was my own. Taught him to box. He almost made Senor Yara before we got taken. How did you get out? Camila snuck in one night, sliced up three guards, took two bullets to her shoulder, grabbed the hostage and sprung me and Philly. Oh yeah, sounds like Espada. That's my girl, but she couldn't find Miguel, and by that time there was too much heat. So we left him behind with more of our people. Just hope there's something left of him. We're close, no more talk.
Dios, Montero. What are you doing here? Where's Miguel? I don't know. The guards took him somewhere in the prison. Mierda. It's off. We walk. Go. I'll find Miguel. If you get caught, it's you against the fucking army. It's okay, Papa. I wore my big boy pants. Crazy motherfucker. Meet us at the gas station when you got him. Suerte. Pinga. I don't even know what this guy looks like. I see a medic. Our very future grows in those fields.
Target located! You better be Miguel. Who the fuck are you? Carlos my shit. Need to find the key. Perfecto. There's the key. <coughs> now to free Miguel. Carlos. Up ahead. Up ahead where? The gas station. I know it's hard, but you Carlos that he took you in. Taught you boxing, that kind of thing. <laughs> he didn't teach me shit. I schooled him. How long you know Carlos? Few days. Straight from the shop. Try to keep it in one piece, okay? They're gone. Hola. I'm right behind you. Anyone? 
someone else waiting with Carlos. Sere, you ask a lot of questions. Just him. Almost there now. Senor Yara, come on, get in! Hell yeah, brother! I knew you'd come for me! Coño! I said it! You look like shit! I thought you motherfuckers were on rations. <laughs> Still a dick. Still dry. Good for you. I'll drink his. Miguel. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't come for you sooner. I tried. You know I'd never forget you. Enough bullshit, Carlos. We do what we do to survive, mi hermano. Enough talk. Give me that fucking guitar. <laughs> you did good, tourists. When I first saw you, I wanted to gut you like a crocodile, but... You're Montero now, Danny. Gracias. So, do I call you Papa now? Shut up and drink. Chorizo? So, we're good friends now, see? No hard feelings? Almost blowing you up is the past. We got to look to the future. And I see a military truck in your future. With special ammo, special weapons, and a special sauce. And Philly wants it real bad. I like to plan ahead. And I got big plans to bump up the Montero firepower, see? First step is that truck. They're loading it up at Ocaso Marina. Bring the truck back to me in one piece, Hiro. I got big plans, buddy. Suerte. Bring it back and we'll talk. Oye, Danny.